Hello everyone, my name is Bob, uh, and you may be wondering why I'm recording this philosophy time with Bob uh, inside Grand Theft Auto. Um, and that is because I'm about to play some Grand Theft Auto, and I didn't really feel like dragging out the camera. Um, find a place to park right quick, <coughs> and then we will talk about our topic for today. I think we'll just set it down here. This will work. A little walk in the park. There you go. Um, now, what is the topic for our talk today? Um, it is, um, in a lot of people's minds, um, uh, the idea uh, of... Um, self-criticism uh, is something that, that seems to be um, oh, dude please stop grabbing your crotch please I'm trying to talk let's 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 look, look at something else here okay well whatever um, the idea of self-criticism is something that seems to uh, threaten uh, someone's um, uh, self-esteem uh, whereas uh, I believe that, that the real self-criticism is something that, that's necessary if you want to really achieve anything in life. Um, you have to be able to be willing to uh, disconnect um, the idea of criticism uh, from the idea of self-worth. Um, as far as self-worth goes, um, people uh, sort of into this world believing that um, somehow that, that they're different from everything else. Uh, and what nature teaches us is that nature just spits out a, a billions and billions of forms into the world, and they all eventually die at some point. Uh, and um, uh, and none of them are really any objectively any better or worse than anything else. I mean, uh, just because I'm bigger and smarter than a squirrel doesn't mean that I have some sort of my I'm have some sort of greater ontological worth than a, a squirrel or a tree. Um, so I think in part, part partly that's um, <laughs> dude, please stop. Um, partly um, that's because we as human beings want to put ourselves uh, above uh, nature and above other human beings. Why we um, start off life thinking that we are better than everything else, and then then life starts starts kicking us back a few notches, and we go, well, gosh, we're not we're not that hot shit after all. But uh, getting back to what I was saying about um, uh, criticism and self-worth, you have to disconnect uh, self-criticism and criticism from self-worth. Self that they are two totally different things. Um, for instance, an artist, uh, I, I do a lot of art, um, for an artist to get good at all, uh, or for anyone uh, at, at any uh, kind of discipline uh, who wants to improve, uh, criticism is absolutely essential. Uh, now you, you shouldn't necessarily. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you shouldn't necessarily take take any uh, anyone else's um, criticism all that um, all that s seriously in a sense, but um, you have to be able to criticize yourself, um, criticize what you're doing, uh, and and then yet par paradoxically you have to be willing to um, once you have you know, gone past through that phase and. And or, or, or continue to go through that phase of, of self-criticism. Also, at the same time, be absolutely determined to do what it is that you're setting out to do. Uh, and for most people, those things just don't go together. Uh, if you're if you're self self-criticism because they, people think of self-criticism as something to have, having to do with your worth uh, as a person or as a being, um, the whole idea of worth altogether is just simply not something that exists in reality. You know that that uh, tree. To me, a tree and a person no different. You know, people think that they're different, um, but they're they're just they're just living things on this planet. Uh, and and Mother Nature spits out millions of forms, and sometimes those forms go extinct, and almost certainly at some point our species is going to go extinct uh, as well. Uh, in the the longer 
scale of things, the idea of worth pro or con is simply irrelevant. Uh, to even be worrying about self-worth, you know, uh, in a sense, is so absolutely irrelevant. However, we we still, as people, have um, dreams of what we want to accomplish in life, uh, and to to achieve those dreams, I think um, you have to be willing uh, to be someone who, at the same time, is both willing to um, self be self-critical, to have to have the strength to to do that. Have, to have the strength to be self-critical uh, and at the same time be um, determined uh, in the, even in the face of opposition to, to follow whatever it is your dream is um, so uh, and uh, you know whenever I've, I've I've had sort of a long and interesting life whenever I've, I've accomplished something that I'm, uh, I've wanted to do in life uh, the, the first question I sort of ask, ask myself is why haven't I done this before? Uh, what, what, why, or, or uh, for dreams that I have for the future, uh, the question is why didn't I start on this ten years ago? Uh, so, uh, to to believe in your dreams and to be determined to to follow your dreams, even if other people don't don't like them or think that they're possible or worthy, is there, you know, what other people think is is absolutely irrelevant. Uh, you have to be <clears throat> willing to be absolutely determined, follow your dream, and yes, yet at the same time, be absolutely self-critical. Because if you aren't self-critical, you'll never accomplish anything uh, in your life that will make you happy that you've done, done at a later time. Um, so, people need to totally disassociate this idea of criticism and this idea of self-worth because self-worth ultimately we're all just drifting through this wonderful marvelous weirdness uh, and uh, you and the birds and the trees there's no there's no self-worth there's no worth relation there there's there's no um, uh, sort of heavenly ever saying so you're saying uh, you're you're you've done right you have worth or you've done have not done right you don't have worth uh, this the, a tree, in its own own way, has, has the same worth as you do, which is to say that you're just simply both part of this, uh, uh, part of this ongoing weirdness, and none of you have any more or less worth than any of the others, even if you accomplish nothing in your life, that's absolutely whatsoever, uh, you don't have less self worth or more self worth uh, than anything else. In fact, worth doesn't enter into it. Uh, there is no, there is no worth in that sense. That 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 idea of worth doesn't exist. Um, what does exist is uh, you can accomplish things in your life that will make you happy. Uh, you can also accomplish things in your life which will temporarily make you miserable. Uh, but um, but that that sort of temporary misery, uh, I think, is is something that um, that is worth going through. Uh, like for instance. Um, I, I'm just finishing up, um, waiting for final approval for my um, uh, science fiction novella. And let me tell you, uh, the final stages of editing, even though it's a pretty short book, <coughs> the, the, the final stages of editing that some bitch were torture. But it's, it, it's just still worth it in the end, because there's something that I can, I can feel good about and enjoy myself, you know, uh, and enjoy what people uh, think about when they read it. Uh, and the whole thing. So, um, uh, so yeah, your your dreams, your dreams, and and your accomplishments can make you miserable, also. <clears throat> but um, it's a temporary sort of misery that that um, that leads to a uh, a, a longer term uh, satisfaction with where your life is going. Uh, and um, where was I? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well. Uh, uh. Yeah, um, so so worth, uh, people can really get caught up in self-esteem issues, and there is nothing in this world that is more irrelevant than your or my or anyone else's self-esteem, because simply that's not the way the world is. The world doesn't, act even, even though we sort of culturally value individuals, the world doesn't value individuals. The world just spits out this 
kaleidoscope of individuals, throws them on the wall, sees what sticks and what doesn't. Uh, and what sticks today may not stick tomorrow. Uh, that's just the, the way uh, that nature is. I mean, if you take plants, uh, I've been uh, doing a lot of thinking about plants lately. <coughs> plants can, can, can spit out, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of seeds, and very few of those seeds are going to make it. Uh, but the, in, in, the, in, in the, the plant will reproduce somehow, and it, it goes on and, and produces more of its own kind. Or it produces fruit that it knows that, that uh, some animal is going to come around and eat part of its body. Uh, and it's, it's okay because, again, it's a, a way for it to uh, re reproduce its kind. Um, so the reality of worth is that we're all here in this mysterium, this weirdness, uh, and your worth or my worth is the most irrelevant thing in the world. Uh, your your idea of your worth or my worth, or anyone's <coughs> idea of our worth, is the most irrelevant thing that, that, that human beings could ever think of. What is relevant is, are you going to do things in your life uh, that are going to um, make you pleased to be living? Um, and that are going to um, improve your circumstances. Uh, and for that, you need two things that seem to be contradictory, but they're only contradictory because of our own weird... Uh, weird um, mental makeup uh, which is you have to have uh, a great uh, degree of self-criticism and a great tolerance for self-criticism and yet at the same time the greatest amount of determination uh, going for your dream even if even if objectively it seems like a long shot or even if everyone says it's, if it's a long shot of some sort that, that doesn't matter um, if you want something bad enough that's a real strong indication that you'll probably get it at some point. And if you really want it bad enough and you're willing to put in the work needed to, to, to achieve that. Um, so, um, and and you, you don't want to wait on this until you're old. Because let me tell you, when you start getting older, your, your, your options start getting more and more limited. Uh, if you're young, 20 or 30, or... Even 40 seems young to me now. <laughs> um, you should um, you should not uh, think that you have all the time in the world to achieve what you want to want to achieve in life. Uh, and again, that achievement has nothing to do with your worth, because there's nothing more irrelevant in this world than a human idea uh, or a personal, even even less than human, a personal idea of their own own worth or lack thereof. Nothing could be more absolutely irrelevant in the face of this this world that we're living in than then your idea of your self-worth or my idea of my self-worth um, we're living in this incredible intense weird uh, again I miss my, my, my only uh, word for it is mysterium this weirdness that we are in and in the context of this weirdness uh, your or my little worth is not worthy of consideration. It's not worthy of spending time on. Um, but uh, achieving what you want in life might be, you know, kind of important or something you want. Uh, and the noise is interrupting. Uh, and uh, to be doing that, um, you need to be willing to criticize yourself, and at the same time, I won't say believe in yourself because. Uh, again, that's a self-worth thing, but be willing to be absolutely determined uh, to follow uh, in the cor your course of action, uh, even despite difficulties. You know, to be determined. Put it that, put this way. To be determined to do what it is that, that you want to see done in life for yourself. Um, that you have to be able to disconnect these things. Uh, disconnect self-criticism, which is absolutely necessary for you to, to achieve any kind of thing of value in your life uh, and um, the determination which is the other part that is going to be essential for you to uh, be all that you can be um, and that's that's again it's not even a self-worth thing uh, if, if you if you you know wind up being a da Vinci or whatever it doesn't mean that you're better than a street person 
<laughs> because in in the, the the context of this world that we're living in, personal ideas, human ideas of worth, are the most irrelevant thing in the world. The most irrelevant thing that could, that could possibly be. Um. So, but but you but again, entirely regardless of of you know your your worth or my worth or the possibility of any worth in this uh, weirdness that we're in um you may you may have things you want to do in life you know <laughs> you may have dreams that you want to see fulfilled you may think and have things that make you happy uh and to get to get those things that would which will make you happy um it's important to both be determined to to get those things be determined no matter what anyone thinks uh and yet, at the same time, be able to criticize yourself uh, in order to refine your ability, your or your approach to, to get actually getting those things. Because simply having good wishes is not enough. You have to, to have good technique and um, good methods. And uh, you, you probably aren't going to have those unless you're willing to uh, criticize yourself and, and focus and, and fine-tune your approach. If you think that you're doing everything... For the, that you're 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 infallible from the crib onwards, then you're not going to be able to uh, refine what you're doing. Uh, you're not going to be able to improve yourself. Uh, you're not going to be able to, to improve what you're doing. You probably won't be able to achieve your dreams because uh, to be able to critique yourself is an essential part of focusing your focusing yourself into the sort of instrument that can get the things done that you want to get done. Um, I don't know if any of this is making any sense. And I grant you it's kind of weird to be out here in GTA 4. Hey, guys. Can I just touch you with you? Um, be out here in, uh, in GTA 4. But I was about to play anyway. And I didn't want to bring out the camera to do a face face thing. Uh, so, so yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm, I'm talking to you about the stuff in GTA 4. Um, because I was about to play, play some GTA 4 anyway. Um, so anyway, I guess I guess that's about it. Um, sort of things I wanted to, to talk to you about. Um, to be able to to disconnect uh, worrying about your self worth. Uh, to be able to be your own worst, uh, own most critical critic, and yet at the same time to to uh, not have that somehow make you feel like you want to crawl up in a uh, eggshell and die. But, but in fact still have determination to achieve the dreams that you have uh, for life. Um, that's an important thing. Uh, to, to disconnect self-criticism from self-worth. Because in ultimate sense, self-worth is an illusion anyway. There, there is no, there's nothing here that is more or less worthy than anything else. You're not more worthy than this tree just because you're a human being. Uh, you're not more worthy than a street person just because of what you accomplished. Uh, Self-worth is an illusion. Um, but uh, but and you may ne nevertheless have things you want to do in life. You know, you may have things you want to do in life to make life more interesting, stranger, weirder, more exciting. Uh, and uh, in order to to get that going, you may have to be willing to take a critical look at what you're doing. And uh, improve it, uh, and that—that's the purpose for self-criticism is improvement. Um, to uh, to make whatever it is you're doing better, so that you can get closer to achieving whatever it is you want to do. Um, and regardless of what that is, and 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 it, yet at the same time, not think that if you, if, you know, if you've done a bad job on this or that, that it has anything to do with self-worth, because nothing has anything to do with self-worth. Self worth is an illusion. We're, we're yeah, it's great. We're we're living in this manifest huge weirdness with all these other beings, all these other animals and plants and things, and to be thinking about your own little self in in that world, you know, with all the planets and stars and galaxies and the enormity of space. Do you think about your 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 self worth? Isn't isn't simply you know a bad choice? It's monumentally stupid. Uh, it's monumentally 
there's a monumental lack of vision there. Um, monumental lack of comprehension of not not only how small you are, uh, how small every every being is, but also simply the the enormity and the weirdness of the universe. Um, it, I think that if you really spend time thinking about that, that uh, you're not going to spend that much time whether you know it's, you're not going to spend that much time th thinking about whether whether girls like you or you know whether your you, your friends think you got a nice enough car or whatever the fuck that is you know you know what I'm saying you know, because we're um, we're living in this huge strange world and yet we are as I think Bukowski said we are consumed by trivialities we are consumed by trivialities uh, and um, so don't be consumed by trivialities but do pursue what it is you think will make you a, a happier person that will enjoy life more uh, and to do that you may have to be willing to you know criticize yourself sometimes uh, and not have that count against your your feet your own emotional well-being because it has nothing to do, one thing has nothing to do with the other uh, and be, be willing to uh, at, at one time both be your own worst critic and also be absolutely determined to, to uh, achieve what it is you want to achieve in life. Um, because the two things, we think you're connected, because we think the world sort of around uh, orbits around our little ego, but they're actually not connected. Um, and, and being self-critical will actually make you a better uh, and probably happier person. Um, because you'll be able to better do those things in life you want to do. Okay, that's all. I'm going to go, go play some GTA 4, uh, 4 now and, and uh, <laughs> kill people and blow shit up. <laughs> anyway, it was kind of, kind of bizarre, but uh, I wanted to do this, and I also wanted to play some GTA 4 uh, also. Uh, so, uh, so it was just a, just a weird coincidence, wasn't it? It was just, it just, just one of those, another one of those weird things that happened in life. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye.